Um, we went through the diseases of the heart. Uh, we looked at Bukhan. First of all, we looked at the, uh, he talked about Adab and the importance of Adab. And then we talked about uh, the hukam of knowledge of the Amrad al Qulub wa Adriyatiha and the, and the treatment for it, which he said according to Imam al Ghazali, Rabbi Ma'an, it was Farba'in. And then he went through alphabetically the diseases of the heart, and he obviously gives the most, uh, these are really the most important ones. Sidi Ahmed Zarruq and Qad Ayyab actually narrow them down to about four uh, or five ones that if you can control those, all the other ones actually are removed easily. But he began with a Bukhal. And Ramadan is a month uh, to, uh, to really, uh, to cure your Bukhal. Because they said the Prophet Sallallahu كَانَ أَجْوَدَ النَّاسِ وَأَجْوَدُ مَا يَكُونُ فِي شَهْرِ رَمَضَانِ He was the most generous of human beings and he was more generous than ever in Ramadan and they describe him كَرِيحَ مُرْسِدَ like a wind that brings uh, uh, gifts, fecundating winds. Uh, so Bukhan, the, and then Bapar. Bapar is Baparat Ma'ishatum is to be happy with your the dunya or the livelihood. لِسَائِنِ farhatan. Right? His farha is حينما يفطر وحينما يلقى ربه when he breaks his fast and when he meets his Lord and so it's kind of the opposite of that idea of rata and then بغض uh, Ramadan is a time where you're supposed to actually he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam أبدر صدقة في Ramadan the best صدقة is in Ramadan and then in another hadith أبدر صدقة يصلاح ذات البين the best صدقة is rectifying between people. So the best sadaqah would be rectifying between people in Ramadan. That would be the best sadaqah. So this is a time to remove bughat from your heart about people. And then baghi, uh, oppressing people. This is a time when you can't do any, any it's, you're, you're fasting. And the Prophet ﷺ told us that if somebody tries to, إِذَا قَاتَرَكَ Right? وَأَنْتَ صَائِمْ فَقَوْلْ اللَّهُمْ إِنِّي صَائِمْ if somebody's fighting you, you say, I'm fasting. In other words, la tabri. Don't fight with them. Say, I'm fasting. Tell them you don't want to do that. And then, hubbir minzira. Love of position. Right? Ramadan is about gaining a position with Allah. Because the reason, the secret of fasting is it's the only act of ibadah that nobody can tell you're doing it when you're doing it. You see, like if you give charity, it's, it's an act. Right? It's an act. If you do prayer, it's an act. If you make hajj, it's an act. All of the ibadah that Allah has given us are things that can visibly be seen. Fasting alone is, 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 you can be standing next to a person who's not fasting and a person who's fasting and the only one that knows is Allah. So you're out here with all these non-Muslims, basically they don't know you're fasting. You look like everybody else, right? So the point is, is that hubbin manzida, the manzida that you want is with Allah, it's not with people. And then for the dunya, Ramadan is, is also weaning yourself from dunya, right? And nafs ka tafri, in tahmirhu shabda ala habda rabai, wa in tafthimhu min fatimi. The nafs is like a, a child, but if you neglect it, it grows up loving to suck, meaning love of dunya. But if you wean it, then it becomes weaned. So Ramadan is the time of weaning the soul from dunya and love of dunya. And then حب المدح بما لم يفعل To love to be praised for things that you don't do. Uh, Ramadan is a time when you're supposed to witness the shortcomings of your actions and to really, to recognize that you've wasted the whole year and now it's time to catch up. The ibadah, the qiyam that you didn't do in the previous year is time to catch up in this month. Uh, all of the things that you neglected, the sabaqah, all those things, so what you're trying to do is do actions so that you want praise. Right? So it's a cure for that. Al-Hasad. Right? Envy. To purify the heart from envy. That if you can conquer, uh, the envy comes from uh, desire. Right? If you can conquer desire, then you can remove envy from your heart. And desire is based, according to Imam al-Ghazali, on Qasr al shahwatain destroying the two, the thoughts and the button, if you can destroy those two desires, conquer them, not destroy them, but master them, then all the other desires become easy. And then, al-haya al-madmoon, 
shame that's not uh, praiseworthy. This is a time to uh, have haya with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? So haya for people uh, without seeing Allah is, is uh, blameworthy. Right? So this is a time to have haya with Allah. خَوْبِ الْقَلْبِ فِي مَا لَا يَنْبَغِ الْخَوْبِ فِي One of the secrets of Ramadan that I'm going to go into from Imam al-Ghazali in a second is the fasting of the heart. Part of the highest fast in Ramadan is the fast of the heart. Not just the, the outward fast, but the inward fast. خَوْفِ uh, الْفَقَرِ This is also a time to, uh, when to recognize provision is from Allah and not to worry about your provision and to give up your anxieties and recognize that food is not something that you should uh, be under the control of, but in fact you should recognize it for what it is. It's a ni'mah from Allah, it came from Allah, and that's why you praise Allah when you break your fast, you praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and, and recognize that that's coming from Him. Mudahana, it's things like this, when you're fasting, that you can't tell lies, and mudahana is a type of lying. And you can't tell lies any time, but in Ramadan it's much worse. Riya. This is the time one of the blessings of Ramadan is even the worst Muslims suddenly become like a Riya. So uh, it's, it's, it's more difficult to have Riya in Ramadan because everybody's at the masjid doing Qiyam and every, so you actually don't feel as significant as you would at other times of the year when you're doing Ibadah because everybody is, is this is the time when everybody's doing Ibadah. And so that's uh, another important thing is to remove that desire to be seen by others and desire to be only seen by Allah. خوف غير الله والرغبة في fear of other than Allah and desire of other than Him again relates to the same idea. سخب القدر displeased with the قدر of Allah as your iman increases you become more content with the qadr of Allah. And one of the things that increases in Ramadan is the iman, by the nature of the month. Your iman will increase, inshallah, in this month if you do what, what the month entails us to do. And if we practice what is the want of the people that desire Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And sum'a, the same, tama'a. Uh, sum'a is desiring reputation amongst people, things like this. A tama is this desire. Pain and amal. One of, again, إِذَا لَإِشْرُونَ مِنْ شَعْبَانَ وَلَّتْ فَوَاصِلْ شُرْبَ لَيْلِكَ بِالنِّهَارِ وَلَا تَشْرَبْ بِأَقْدَاحٍ صِغَارِ فَبَاقَ الزَّمَانُ عَلَى الصِغَارِ One of the things about Ramadan is to remind you of Qul Al-Amal. You don't have much time. This is why when Allah says in the Qur'an, أَيَّامِ الْمَعْدِيدَاتِ He uses, according to the ulama, جمع القلة, معدودات. It's, it's a plural that's used for few. Because he's reminding us we only have a few months and these are uh, a few days and these days are precious days so don't waste them. Don't waste them in hold, don't waste them in empty talk, don't waste them in right. Kari Hodok and Kakadilin wa Hadar. Hadar is is uh, empty talk and and uh, excessive talk which there's no benefit in it. And then uh Apiara Tiyara is uh, bad omen. Everybody will have bad omens. The Prophet ﷺ gave us the cure for it. If you have a bad omen, just do what you're doing. You come, like in this culture, you come to a ladder. I grew up thinking it's bad luck to, uh, to walk under a ladder. Right? And before I was Muslim, I would have walked around it. Now you come to a ladder, still walk around it because something could fall from the top. But don't do it because it's a superstition. Do it, you know, don't worry about things. Black cats, whatever. The Burma, right? The Arabs have the Burma. They have that in Tunisia. Burma. So, really? No, no, no. It's amazing. It's a Jahidi thing. Because the Jahidi Arabs, if they saw an owl, it was a really bad sign. So, if you see an owl, you say, Subhanallah. You know, don't you? Huh? Uh, seeing a lion? The Arabs? Oh, well, a lion is shaja'a, according to the Arab. I mean, the Arab. Whenever they use lion, they mean courageous. Asadullah, yeah, I mean, shaja'allah. It's a metonymy mat- for, for courage. And then, uh, one, which is suspicion, you shouldn't have bad opinions of other people, especially in Ramadan. 
And then Resh, which is cheating, same. Rajab, being impressed with the self, vanity. Ghabab, anger. One of the things of Ramadan is to learn how to control anger. Ghafla, heedlessness. Ramadan is a month to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should remember him all the time, but more particularly in this time. Uh, rancor towards other Muslims. One of the worst diseases. Fakhar, boasting from Jahadiyya. Kibrun, which is arrogance, pride. Karahat al uh, dislike of being blamed or censured. Karahat al fear of death. Again, that hadith, Man ahabba liqa Allah, ahabba Allah liqa'ahu. Whoever loves to meet Allah, Allah needs to love him. Inna lusa'ini farhatayni. Inna lusa'ini farhatayni. The lusa'in has two uh, joys. فَرْحَةٌ حِنَ مِنْ وَفَرْحَةٌ حِنَ مِنْ يَلْقَى رَبَّهُ He has a joy when he, uh, when he meets, uh, when he breaks his fast and when he meets his Lord. And then, نِسْيَانُ uh, النِّعْمَى This is a month also to remember the ni'ma of Allah. وَمْ تَعِدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تَحْصُوهَا وَمَا بِكُمْ مِنْ نِعْمَةٍ فَمِنَ اللَّهِ there's no ni'mah except it's from Allah. And this is a time really where we should be really reflecting on all of the blessings Allah has given us. And huzur, making fun of people, mockery, these type things, haram, and more, more importantly in it. So those are all the diseases of the heart. 